Hey guys, Focus here, and today we're actually playing some more of the Epoch Panthera on a uh, different server this time. We're not actually playing on uh, the MGT server uh, because I died on there, of course. <laughs> but uh, that's not why I'm not playing that, because my friends actually are playing on a server, and I went to go join them. And so far our base got destroyed and shit, so uh, we can't actually go back to that server. So I actually went ahead and joined a new server. And you'll see right here, this is the server, of course. Yeah. Now, of course, this would be a suitable home for about me. But, uh, only bad part about it is it would be only suitable for probably about, like, one person. Maybe, maybe two, three. But we actually have a squad like a full ass squad. I'm gonna I'm gonna think about it. Have probably about like six, seven people and uh this would not be a suitable place. Because we need at least room for about mm, I'd say about five, six vehicles. And this only sadly has room for about two four, maybe five and yeah, just about five, maybe like a dirt bike back here. But um uh, yeah, but the only thing that I'm looking for instead of a suitable home is probably, um, well, walls around it, of course. And we have to be able to barricade the walls like that. Like, you know, just barricade them so that nobody can get into our base. And, well, this just isn't a really good spot. I mean, it would be perfect if I had a sniper and I would just go up there and snipe anybody who would come in here. Also, it's in a very perfect spot. I'm not going to show you on the map right now, though, because uh, I really don't want to give the spot away because I might use it as a base later on. But anyways, I set a marker over there because I'm going to go look for another base uh, spot. So yeah, I'll see you when I get there. Now unfortunately, I have not made it to the town yet, but I have actually found this guy right here. I'm actually wondering what gear that he has. I did not kill this guy, by the way. I uh, simply just saw him while I was passing by. And I guess that he died by probably some bandits or something. Running around here, but he's got some actually pretty uh, useful stuff on them that I could use. Ooh, you got a watch. Might be a Rolex. Uh, but yeah, he's also got an Alice pack. I could use that, definitely. I need m way more room inside of my uh, thing. So, yeah. I will get back to y'all right whenever I get to that uh, place. Or the town. Sorry about that. I was distracted because my mother in the background. But anyways, see ya. Home sweet home. Alright, so now that we've actually gotten here to the city, we're going to look around for a little bit, try to find a place. This place actually looks pretty cool right here, but unfortunately it's a grave and it's also a church. And I'd rather not live inside of a church, I guess, because uh, those are actually pretty weird places to live. I don't know if you're like a really churchy guy, but yeah. It also has like tombstones in the front of it though. That's the weirdest part. So there'd be no room for cars, no room for tents, no room for anything in here. So let's keep on looking and I'll get back to y'all when I get one. Alright, so I don't know what the hell that this is. I guess it's sort of like a duo. Two things instead of like one wall. But uh, it looks really weird. I've never seen this actually before. And I'm actually digging this. I mean, I probably fit a shitload of cars in here. And plus it's a pretty big lot, so... I mean, I don't know about this one. I'm actually considering it. Uh, you could probably fit like, what, four cars just right there, one there, another one right there. Yeah, I'm actually, I'm actually very much considering this. This might actually be our new base, but only thing is I need a shitload of stuff just to make a door to put right here, and like I also need wood and shit to barricade it up and everything, so. It's gonna take some time, but I might actually make this my base, or our base, if they uh, want to come join, so, yeah, uh, yeah. <laughs> so now I'm actually heading up here towards the, this Owl's Airfield, I'm gonna go check if there's actually anything up there, because, uh, what's I look at? Also, if you hear that noise in the background, that's my brother taking a shower, so yeah. But also, what I don't like about this mod is, whenever you aim down your scope, it's shaking, because I think it's my character's uh, too cold, and you need to use a lot of heat packs just to get him to where he's warm. And uh, what the bad part is that actually causes you to uh, 
to fall and pass out for a couple of seconds if you're carrying like over a hundred pounds of stuff. So that's actually something that you have to watch out for in this mod. Uh, the best part is just to take like heat packs and shit, you know, like this, and use them. But uh, yeah, I have not gotten able to figure out how many heat packs that you need actually. So I'm gonna get back to y'all on that later on. But yeah, but oh yeah, I forgot to actually mention that the real way to just like get rid of the shaking really quickly is just to give yourself some painkillers and uh, it'll just go away for about it'd go away for about probably um, I don't know I'd say five minutes maybe three four somewhere around that area oh yeah there's also this bandit squad on this uh, server and they actually killed me twice already, right now it's a fresh new spawn. They're actually somewhere down south, so I'm actually, yep, yep there's the overburden that I was talking about. But anyways, they're somewhere down south, and I actually do not know exactly where they are. But if I do find them, though, I will make sure to at least shoot some shots their way, because, well, but, uh, because they, they killed me twice and I didn't have shit. All I had was just probably a Makarov pistol, and I was just telling them, I was like, please don't kill me, please don't kill me, and they still killed me. Twice in a row, and they actually laughed the second time because they killed me twice, so. We get some payback on them later on, so. Yeah, stay tuned for that, I guess. So, unfortunately, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm getting really bad at uh, getting overburdened. I just got overburdened, like, the past minute, like, twice. So, uh... Yeah, it's actually pretty annoying after a while, but I'm gonna actually find some heat packs. I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna try to like put ten heat packs on me. Hopefully that'll help. But uh, I'm pretty sure that the temperature is the thing on the right. It looks like it's red right now. You see on the right. I don't know if that is the temperature or not, but uh, I'm not 100 percent sure. I don't know what else to say. And so far we're actually right over here, right by where the where we're actually heading. What is, is that a boat canal? It's like somewhere. Alright. So unfortunately we're probably going to run into somebody here. And unfortunately they could be really high like in surviving I guess. And yep we ran into a uh, truck already. Now of course like I said inside the last episode this truck is probably definitely locked. So. How much you want to bet? How much you guys want to bet? I'm gonna bet like five hundred fucking dollars that this truck's locked. Yep. <laughs> but you can actually take the parts off of this still, but you just can't enter the gear and anything else. So yeah, we're gonna actually find a way around this wall to get inside of here real quick. All right, so we actually found a back entrance right here. So um, if you hear my dogs out there, I'm gonna be really pissed because my dogs are always fighting in the hallway. I don't know why they fight in the hallway, they uh, should just go fight in the kitchen, but they're too weird. But uh, these are actually like barracks, these things right here. And what happens is like you can go in and you find weapons like that SA-58P right there. Ooh. What is that noise? One second guys. So unfortunately I do not know what the hell just happened right there. All I know is that red truck or car pulled up and I, I think he went in there because I did not see the guy anywhere else. But I'm gonna go, actually it'd be kind of retarded just to go out in the middle. So I don't think I'll go really all over. It's like the only way to find him though, you know? So uh, yeah, I'm gonna look for the where the zombies are going and maybe I'll find him. So, yeah. Alright, so I'm still not can like know what the hell happened back there. But uh all I know is these zombies were following me. If you like right shit, I pressed on the wrong button. Um right there. 
there's one of them. There's like four of them following me, and uh, I cannot stay over there. Because if you have zombies behind you, and you're near somebody, then you know that you're fucking dead. Because they'll hear the zombies aggroed on you, and they'll just turn the corner and shoot. Like a bowels. But anyways, I found, I found this place. This actually looks really cool, and uh, might actually make this place the place, you know what I mean? But unfortunately, it is so close to an airport that I don't even think that I will consider it. Because, uh, airport, of course, has traffic day and night from uh, helicopters to airplanes, and I don't want anybody dying in my group, of course. So I doubt that I'll make this place it, but if I have to come to circumstances like that, then I will, of course. Alright, nothing's inside this building. Uh, unfortunately, just like freezing in the game, it's fucking freezing in real life. My feet cannot feel. And I'm gonna try to slip around this zombie. Of course, there might be another one down the stairs, because usually they follow each other. So let me go check. Eh, nope, there's not one down here. Thank God. Ooh, wheel. But I'm not gonna take that right now. Uh. I'm gonna go check that vehicle, so it's still not gone, so I don't understand that. I heard a engine that sounded just like that red vehicle. And I know that there's nobody down there now. Because the vehicle would have been gone already, because I know that not all of those barracks have something, you know. Or those things like barracks. So I'm gonna go check the vehicle is operational, and if it is, then I will force drive it. So, yeah. So, coming back from that, none of the vehicles are actually operational. I actually figured that out the hard way, of course, by going in them and just, like, trying them out. And none of them are operational. So, yeah. <laughs> but, uh, if I were to just possibly, um, get that wheel back there, up inside the, up inside the building up over there, right there, yeah. Then, uh, I could actually, um, I'm trying to put the words in my mouth, but I can't really think. I can actually, um, rebuild the, one of the vehicles and drive it away, but what the hell is this guy doing? What the hell? Hm. Is this an actual guy, or is this a, um, no, this has to be an actual guy. Hello. Alright, I'm gonna see if it's an actual guy. Hello! Person! Alright, I'm, I'm gonna actually see if the zombie attacks him, so. Try the zombie around to him. Oh shit. Alright, that was a little bit of lag. Alright, I'm gonna see if the zombie attacks him. And the zombie just ignores him straight. Huh. And this is actually no no uh, PvP zone, so I should be in god mode a little bit soon. Right around here. And this zombie can't attack me. Yep, there it is. So now the zombie cannot attack me, so I'm actually pretty much good on health and shit. So if there's anti-death, can you actually get in the vehicle? Oh. <laughs> yeah, you can. So if I were to go get, let's say all four wheels for this thing, I could actually drive it away and it might possibly have stuff in it. But I'm not going to do that because I'd be wasting a shitload of time. Um, let me go ahead and check this. Vehicle locked, of course. Because you never know if they lock the vehicle or not. Because so. some people forget to, and I'm pretty sure that you have to buy things to lock the vehicle and lock the vehicle. No, 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 I don't want to be out. Alright. Actually, an SUV over there. I'm gonna go see if I can actually get in that. If I can't, I don't think I have a toolbox, so I can't take any wheels off of it. Oh, this would have been perfect if I had a toolbox. I would have got all these wheels off of this one and put them on like that one over there. Yeah, I want to check.
change this clothing, see if it's good. I'm a working businessman. <laughs> Some pretty good clothing right here. This is actually the clothing that you spawned in on this other server that I was trying out. Actually, no wait. It was this server, actually. I spawned in this server with this type of clothing. And I died, of course, by the bandits. But I want to actually see what exactly is wrong with this vehicle, though. And I can't view it because it's changed clothes. Come on, come on. You have to wait like 60 seconds to view something whenever you change clothes? I think it is. Alright, so everything's good on it except for the wheels. That's all. So, um, I'm going to go try to get a toolbox and I'll get back with you on that one. Alright, so unfortunately, our, um, the only industrial building that's really close is, of course, the one that we were um, at over here. So we're actually going to have to go towards it. <sighs> Sorry about that. I had to yawn. But anyways, um, like I said, it's somewhere like over here, the one that we were just at. And we actually, like, we need to go check it again because new loot could have spawned. Not 100% sure. I actually want to go into this church because I have not been in a church on here yet. Oh, and it's not in triple heart. Right. But this is actually it's so perfect for our base, guys. If there was not an airfield over there, I would definitely make this my base. But sadly, an, air an airfield is just cock blocking me, and I. Wow. Alright, so let's check if there's a toolbox here. Nope, there's ammo. I don't know what that ammo's for. cold as hell. Nope. Bug it. Uh, I actually need that. Coca-Cola type the day. I love Coca-Cola. I actually like Pepsi more than Coke, so if you like Pepsi more than Coke, go ahead and like this fucking video, because I love Pepsi. Anytime I go to a place, I really just rather have a Pepsi than a Coke, because... Well, it's not like I have anything against Coke, like, they did something like, destroyed my father or some shit. Uh... I just don't like Coke. I like Pepsi over it. But anyways, let's get off that topic. It's a weird fucking topic. So it's a gas station right there. Oh, but let's go ahead and go into the industrial building. Of course, since we need a toolbox. Ooh, that's also something I really like about this mod. Is most servers have it to where it's scripted, where um, if a player combat logs, then it actually shows them on the bottom. Or, um, of course, like inside of an MGT server, it shows it on the top right. It shows it in, like, big red letters, which I like the most. Because, uh, when people combat log, it's just something that, you know, you think inside your mind, you're like, what a pussy, or something like that. And it's, it's really just a faggot move to do. Because, I mean, if people killed you, that's fair and square. They should be able to get all your loot. But unfortunately, people think that, oh, if I combat log, they won't get shit. Ha ha ha. A damn time I found a Pepsi can. <laughs> but uh, I'm searching these buildings right now. Finally, fucking food. Holy shit. Building stack. But um, I'm actually searching for. No, I don't want to. I'm, I'm getting interrupted way too much. I'm getting. I'm searching for. Um, of course, the stuff. But uh, I can't. Toolbox. Why am I not remembering things? But I'm searching for stuff like that, and uh, I actually went to this building. No goddamn reason, because I thought it might actually be in that building, even though it's not industrial. Because, ooh, camping tent. I need that severely, so. Alright, guys, what I'm going to do right here is I'm going to try to use two heat packs and see if that actually makes it go up. So, praise the Lord if it does, because this is getting so annoying. I mean, yep, it didn't do shit. I do not know how to make my temperature go up, guys. This is really bothering me so bad. I mean, I've had the same fucking temperature like this whole entire game. And there goes another freeze. Oh, alright, there we go. I think it only freezes because I'm recording at the same time and it just takes a lot of fucking space because it's like putting stuff on the disk drive at the same time while it's uh, playing. The game. I don't even know how long that we've been playing. Probably about like 30 minutes so far. But I'm actually 
really pissed off right now because this airfield has, does not have anything industrial. Anything. And usually airfields have like a shitload of industrial shit, but sadly it doesn't. I'm about to kill this fucking zombie where the hell he is. Holy my god. There we go. Ooh, pasta. How did you know that was my favorite? We got a really bad problem. Our, um... Our, where we were just at, where the industrial building at, is right there. And we need to get right here. So that's going to be a couple thousand of running. And that's going to be really hard. Yeah, just a thousand, actually. Just a thousand. So i got to run 1,400 meters again just to get to a building. Where there's probably no not going to be a toolbox, but hopefully there will be. So yeah, I'll see ya. Yes! Finally we get to the industrial building. It took like probably about five minutes just to walk here. So, um, yeah, let's try to get in. And, uh, how do you get in? Alright, what the hell. If this place is barricaded by like some random ass people, I'm gonna be pissed because this is like the only industrial building in sight. So, anywhere. Oh no. Please don't tell me it's a base. Oh. This would be perfect for a base. If somebody had actually already called this, I'm going to be pissed. Because it's an industrial building. It hides a shitload of cars. And it has fucking a tank. So. If we were to ever like want to put fuel in all the cars, we'd just have a tank. Or if we ever held have a helicopter and we just want to refuel it have a tank. What's this? Tank trap kit? We well, need that. All Check right. over here. Should be a car in here, I think. I saw a car. Yep, I did see a car. Oh no. Guys, guys, this can be, this can end really fucking badly. Oh shit. I actually, the same exact bandits that were killing me twice had that same exact car, so. Not 100% sure if I want to be here. Fuck it. But that car is wrecked, so. Hopefully there's something in here. Nope, they just have camping tents, what the hell? Also, if y'all know how to make a padlock, though, or how to get one at all, Please comment in the section below. I, me and my friends do not know how to do that shit. Oh dear, my fucking... Oh. My fucking heart just dropped to my ball sack, I swear to god. I heard a car and I was... I turned around instantly and I... Oh, that, that was really just a daring moment right there. Oh, guys, my heartbeat is so fucking high right now. If I had a, like a heartbeat thing, it'd probably be like a hundred something right now. Oh my god. Yeah, I'm actually going to end the video here. So like, favorite, subscribe, and uh, let's get in this bush real quick because they're actually coming around. I can actually hear them. Oh shit. Holy fuck. That was really close right there. But anyways, I will see y'all later. Bye bye.